Don't forget what your mom says. What happens in the dark will always come to light. What happens in the dark always comes to light. What happens in the dark always comes to light. What happens in the dark, I know, I know, always comes to light. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, whatever happens in the dark always comes to light. Hello there, I am Zed, and um, some no new news came out of Dar man, Dar Daddy, Daddy Dar. Well, uh, it turns out he does not pay his employees that well. I mean, uh, half of his employees, not even half, most of his employees can't afford the rent. It turns out he is a criminal. Yes, you heard me. Daddy Dar is a criminal and he does not pay his employees. What the hell? His whole entire thing is to treat everyone equally and, you know, treat everyone with respect, you know, pay you your employees. Darman, you are a hypocrite. What? Yes, you heard that right. He's a hypocrite. What is going on with Darman? This situation is crazy. Like, many of his um, employees, uh, actors, have come out like, yo, this guy doesn't pay us at all. Barely pay us. We can't, half of us can't even afford rent. Bro, let, let me show you, let me show you this one clip of uh, Darman's actor, Colin. And you may know him from uh, a bunch of his videos, like the art one, but he, he was also in uh, Breaking Bad. I mean, uh, Better Call Saul. And Colin, he's a nice actor, I like him. And the fact that my guy, Colin, cannot afford rent, it upsets me. It really does. Let me, let me show you, let me show you uh, some proof. Wow, what the heck is going on? Hey, Colin A. Borden here. Uh, I don't normally like to uh, do serious things anywhere, um, but especially here on social media because I think it's a rather frivolous sort of thing. And as an actor, a writer, director, I just think of myself as an entertainer and I like to do entertaining things even essentially as an actor at Darman Studios. I am just a contract player. I have no employment there. I am just sort of called every now and then as are all the other actors. And it just is not sustainable. Um, and there are a lot of issues at hand here, but uh, one of the main issues is that not a single actor that works at Diamond Studios can afford rent. This is a show that has millions of views across multiple social media platforms. Um, videos are shot, edited, posted, repackaged as new videos, repost in other places over and over and over and over and over again, racking in millions of views, ad revenue, all this sort of stuff. The studio has continued to expand apartment, and now there are three sound stages in Burbank, but things haven't really gotten better for us. And again, I don't want to go into specifics because it's a kind of a big thing and it's really just between us. Uh, but I think that people should be aware of why we are protesting, why we are out there right now. We've been talking to a lot of actors. Um, it's the same. Everybody feels the same across the board. The trouble is uh, there's a culture at the studio of if you talk, you're out. You guys just heard that from Colin himself. People can't afford a rent. Imagine working and your employer can't afford a rent. Now, honestly, Darman himself as a millionaire, don't you think he should care about this? And also, the culture of you talk, you're out. What the hell? What, what Darman, what the... What, so, there is no employee PR. There's no human services. Uh, there's nothing. So, if anyone talks, you're out. Wait. So, that means people have been fired. So, let me search up a list of people that have been fired. And let me tell you. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I just, I just got word that Mikey has been fired. What's the point of watching Darman videos anymore? What are we gonna do without Mikey? He's he's been our number one madman. He's been our number one savage, Mikey. Darman profits are down. I disapprove. I disapprove. Darman, fuck you. Kill yourself, Darman. So we decided to come together as a group and talk collectively with our boss, Darman. We sent a letter to him, uh, a hard copy and an email. The email was CC'd to the head of production as well so that we made sure that Dar got it, but it was addressed to Dar. Um, it was delivered to Dar. 
That letter was forwarded to the HR department, which we are not employees of Darman Studios. We are contract players. Uh, so exactly what we have to do with HR, we're not entirely sure. But it was forwarded over there. We were contacted, said we could have a meeting um, to discuss our issues. That meeting was pushed several times, changed on us. Uh, when we finally got to the meeting, we had reiterated that we wanted it to be with Dar. Dar was not there. And we said, well, we are not going to have the meeting until Dar is here. You guys can be here, the head of production, the head of HR. That's great. We'd love for you to be there too so everybody's on the same page. But our meeting is with our boss, the person who signs our contracts, Darman. Thank you very much. Please get back to us um, with a time for the next meeting by next Tuesday. Just a time for the meeting. Not necessarily the next meeting, but by Tuesday. All right, just to cut this short, basically they sent a letter and they also uh, sent text, emails, a lot of things. And Darman has not responded or anything. <laughs> he is ghosting them. He's ghosting his own workers. He doesn't want to pay them. He wants he wants cheap work. He, he's just like an Asian dude. He's just like he's just like every other Asian dad, every other brown dad. No bit no employers $13 and 48 cents. Hello, your are friend just here, Dara. Like, bro, just he he's. We know he's certified Daisy. We know he's certified a brown dude. We actually know this is proof that he's actually Punjabi because he wants work for free. My guy, my dude, my friend, my person, Darman, kindly please pay your workers. Them striking is not enough for you. Social social media is blowing up and yet you still won't pay them well. You know what's so funny? Darman had paid uh, some other actors so they could make videos about the strikes. Now these are obviously, obviously Darman paid them. This is so obvious. They're good at acting, but sometimes it makes me wonder, I wonder. how... How could someone act this bad? You're an actor, bro. These videos I'm about to show you will make you cringe your, your, your dick off. Your whatever you have in your pants right there is off, clean, shaved off. It's not there. My dick fell off anymore. It is so unbelievably fake. Let me let me show you these videos. Let me let me show you them. Let me tell you what I'm th talking about. I am an actress at Darman Studios, so I cannot stay silent and watch this studio and this beautiful platform that has made a difference for so many people get thrown under the bus and have everyone assuming that we all feel that way. Because we don't. I don't. And many actors don't. And I don't think I'm in the, like, minority. There's something called the silent majority. but. Listen, if it was as bad as as some of these people are saying it is, if it was really that bad in the general... Lady, lady, lady. How much were you paid? I just want to know how much. Like $13, $14, $15, cause that's a lot more from your regular pay, isn't it? Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! Lady, lady, if it wasn't that bad, how come so many actors, but a couple who won't, don't want to speak up, how come so many actors are speaking up about this, except for a couple, except for a couple? What do you mean it isn't that bad? People can't pay rent, can't afford groceries. You're you're getting a worse pay than. Then school teachers, my 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 person, this this person, what? No, how how can you say that? You know you know those videos where mother can't afford cake mix for the birthday. The I'll have to ring that up separately. What? Why is that? <laughs> don't act like you don't know. You know you can't use your wit card for luxury food items like cake. I'm sorry, it's my first time using this card. Uh-huh. How much is it? Maybe I can pay cash. It's 210. Shoot. Um, yeah, you're you're gonna have to put it back. Mm. What? No. You promised we'd have cake for my birthday. I know, honey, and I promise you that <clears throat> Here, 
<laughs> no, really, don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, um, I couldn't, but I appreciate your offer so much. No, I insist. No, she doesn't need any more help. She already gets her groceries for free. But she's pregnant and she has a daughter. I just feel bad. Why do you think she's pregnant? She's trying to get more assistance. Wow, you know, you really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. Maybe if you weren't so lazy and got a job, you wouldn't need my tax dollars to support you. I had a job. Birthday girl, that, that is Darman's actual actors. I spent 40 minutes editing that, so you better like have liked it. Anyways, I, I don't understand. He's basically flexing on them. You know, what the PS5s, the Bugattis, everything he has in his videos. He's basically... And you know what's sad, Darman? Everything that you are today, your actors made you. You would be nowhere without your actors. And the way you show up in your videos acting like a hero, an icon. Oh my god, it's Darman! Oh no! You are absolutely pathetic. Darman, you... It's sad. It's honestly sad, Darman. It's so sad that you can't pay- that you're ignoring your actors and you can't pay them well. What the hell is that? You know what's sad? Daddy Dardar was sentenced to five years of probation in 2013 for frauding the city of Oakland, California through his real estate company, Man Edge Properties. Bro. Bro. And he must also repay the city of Oakland $44,000. Dardar is a criminal. Daddy Dar is a criminal. Daddy Dardar, no one likes you. You deserve to be canceled. Just, just, I hope no one watches your videos anymore. Unless, you know, you know, people change. I guess this was in 2013, but like, bro, please pay your actors. I'm begging you. I love your cringy videos. I love making fun of them with my cousins, man. But please, please pay your actors, man. Pay them, actually. Well, I hope you sexy onions enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. I think I had too much Starbucks and my heart's racing really fast. Um, I have to go to school tomorrow. I actually wanna... I actually bought new Jordans, so... I'm pretty happy, but anyways, I'll see you guys later, alligator, suck my tater.